Himachal Pradesh G.K. Brief History of District Kangra Part 2 Medieval History Exams Point of View Imp For HPAS, Tesseldar and other Commission Exams Presented by Commission Corner Like, Share and Subscribe For more such daily updates it takes a lot of efforts, make it worth by helping us grow. Medieval History of Kangra Nagarkot Fort was captured by Mahmud Ghazni in 1009 A.D. in his fourth expedition to India and remained in his hands till 1043 A.D. During this attack, the Raja of Kangra was Jugbish Chand, 436th and 202nd descendant of Bhuma Chand and Sushur Machandra respectively. Tomar Raja Mahipal of Delhi liberated Nagarkot Fort in 1043 AD by defeating Majid, the grandson of Mahmud. Abdul Rashid a son of Mahmud appointed Hastajan Hajib as the governor of Punjab and recaptures the Nagarkot Fort in 1051-52. In 1060 AD, Kangra Raja successfully recaptured the fort again. Raja J. Chandra Reference about him is found on two slabs in the Shiva temple of Bayinath, Vadyanath, in the village Kiragrama. The name engraved of the Rana of Kiragrama was Lakshman Chandra. Prithvi Chand, 1330 during his reign, Mohammed bin Tughlaq captured Kangra Fort in 1337. R.U.P. Chand, 1360-75 His name is found in the Ram Chand Natak written by Monik Chand in 1562 A.D. Raja R.U.P. Chand of Kangra was participating in revengeful expeditions against the central authority, and he plundered the plains up to Delhi, was returning, he was encountered and lost all wealth to the Sultan of Kashmir Shahabudi Din. To teach a lesson to Raja Rup Chand of Kangra, Firaz Shah Tughlaq invaded Nagarkot and besieged the fort with his army in 1365 AD. We find references to this invasion in Tarakai Firaz Farishta and Tarakai Firaz Shahi. Raja Rup Chand and Firaz Shah reached an agreement in which Raja Rup Chand accepted the suzerainty of the latter. After the agreement in 1365 d, Firaz Shah visited Jawalamukhi and took away with him 1,300 books of Sanskrit and a book was translated into Persian by an eminent Persian writer Ajitin Khalid Kani and named the book Dalai I Firaz Shahi which deals with philosophy, astrology, and divination. Sangara Chand, 1,375 During his reign, the successor of Faraz Shah Tughlaq, Nasir Uddin, Mohammed Tughlaq, took refuge at Nagarkot, when he was ousted by his two brothers from Delhi and stayed here till 1388 and regained his Delhi throne in 1390. Meg Chand, 1390. During his reign, a Mongolian invader Timur Ilung, on his return journey from Delhi in 1398 to 99, plundered the lower Sirmur hills, when Alam Chand was the chief of Hinder. Pathankot and Nurpur, Dimurai, must have suffered his attack on his way back. Timur Ilung wished to capture Nagarkot but couldn't capture it. Hari Chand I, 1405. One day, he set out on hunting towards a jungle in Harsar, somehow got separated from his party and fell into a well. After making a diligent search, officials returned to the capital and performed his death ritual assuming him dead. Even the Ranis became Sathi and his younger brother Karam Chand was installed as Raja. However, 
he was alive when a passing merchant rescued him from the well after 22 days. On hearing what had taken place in Kangra, he didn't return to Kangra rather selected a place near the junction of Banganga, Kerali and Nagal rivers, founded the town Harapur and established a new independent state of Gular. Down to the present time, Gular takes precedence of Kangra on all ceremonial occasions. Sansar Chand I, 1430 an inscription of his reign exists in the Vajrasvari Devi temple in Bawan, tells us that he was tributary to Muhammad Shah, Sayyid of Delhi. Dharam Chand, 1528 After sitting on the Delhi throne in 1540 AD, Shir Shansuri sent his general Kawaz Khan to Nagarkot to capture hill country. After the conquest, Hamid Khan Kakar was made the in charge of Nagarkot Fort but many historians say that this fort was first captured by Jahangir in 1620. Punjab was then under the rule of Sikandar Shah Sir, a nephew of Sher Shah Sir. Akbar sent his army against Sikandar Shah and he sought refuge in the Malkot Fort in Mal Hills between Puthankot and Nurpur where he surrendered to Akbar and was allowed to retire to Bengal. Akbar initiated the practice of sending hostages to the Mughal court, and in the reign of Jahangir, there were 22 young princes from the hill states as hostages in the Mughal court. J. Chand, 1570 Akbar sent Raja Ram Chand of Gular to arrest Raja J. Chand under some suspicion for some unknown reasons. Bidhi Chand a minor at that time regarded his father dead, came to power and broke into the revolt against Akbar in AD 1572. Akbar sent his army under the viceroy of Punjab Khan Jahan Hussain Kulai Khan to subdue the territory and the territory was given to Birbal as Jajir by Akbar. Now Birbal along with the Mughal forces moved towards Nagarkot Fort to capture it. On the way, they captured Raja Bukht Mal of Nurpur who was Baram Khan at Lahore. Kotla Fort which was located 20 miles from Nurpur, captured by Raja of Kangra by force, originally belonged to the Raja Ram Chand of Gular. Kotla Fort was snatched by the Mughal army from Raja of Kangra and handed it over to the Raja of Gular. When seas of the Kangra fort seemed favorable to the Mughals, news reached from the plains that Akbar's relatives Ibrahim Hussain Mirza and Muzad Mirza had invaded Punjab. The Mughal army now departed to Punjab to oppose the Mirzas. Akbar was told that Kangra was famous for four things, a. the manufacturing of new noses, b. the treatment of eyes diseases, c basmati rice and d the strong fort kindly like share and subscribe to commission corner for more himachal pradesh general knowledge exam oriented series and current affairs of the state it takes a lot of efforts make it worth by helping us grow thank you